Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 7 of The Acolyte. I'm sorry this video is so lit, um, but as I've explained before, I was in LA um, and then other life stuff happened, so I haven't had the chance to do it yet until today. So today I'm watching both episodes. So that's exciting. I thankfully haven't seen any spoilers other than the fact that I know that this is a flashback episode. Um, so yeah, I have no idea what's gonna what, what it's gonna entail. I am hoping that we get some answers finally. Uh, and yeah, so let's just get straight into it. I'm so excited. I've missed this! <laughs> what are you guys searching for? Are we finally gonna get more Kelnaka content that we missed out on? And Torben. And Indara, of course. I feel like they were all gone too soon. And I want to go home to Coruscant. I know. But we're on a mission. I've been here for seven weeks. And there's no one here. And if we were going to find something, we probably would have found it by now. What? Years ago, this planet was catalogued as lifeless. What are you looking for? Hyperspace disaster. So there's some plants here. Big deal. Calm yourself, Padawan. Do not center around your anxieties. We are looking for our versions. What's the versions? A concentration of force energy centered around a location. A virgins. This is a noble mission. <laughs> I love young soul. <laughs> disturbed a balance you were disturbed do not confuse torben's feelings with your own oh that's why i have a padawan and you do not oh, oh no <gasps> oh indara so follow the river Wee! speed bike let's go Awesome! <gasps> Those are the little butterfly things. Oh, is this gonna be the tree? At this point, he's like, I want her to be my Padawan. I don't know which one, but I want one of them. <laughs> Well, this is cool to see a slightly different perspective from this. Why do you always run us alone? The fact we were watching that had I had no idea that Saul was right there. I mean, we knew from one point he was there, but still. Why did that scare me? I knew that she was. I knew that she was in that scene, but she still scared me. <laughs> Okay, so they went there not knowing it was witches. They just had signs of life on a planet that they thought was just... had nothing on it. And they ended up finding a coven of witches. Buddy. Oh, soul, honey. You're not trying to climb that, are you? I mean, I love you, but... I, I don't know... Okay, you know what? Fair play? Fucking fair play! Nothing will stop him, ever. Alright, so he's just been watching this entire thing that we've been watching. The fact that nobody sensed him, he must be really good at masking himself. I think they're witches. Night sisters. Oh! We do not have all the information. Oh! Night sister mentioned! Don't raise younglings, let alone train them. They do not treat the girls like children. We should return to the ship, ask the council for- Torben! I feel for the girls- Torben's my new best friend. Love him. Absolute king. Prepare for a ceremony tonight. Oh, that was so exciting! Dara, oh! I know you would defer to the council. Oh, love getting another little look at them. With their cool-ass bows and their cool-ass weapons. Cool-ass outfits. Good evening. My master Indara. I find that hard to believe. Oh. 
Robin. Jedi Padawan. Oh, that's crazy. So he was just taken into this little void. Only to become trapped on this planet. You are a strong and good Jedi. Oh shit. Good Jedi. But you have natural desires you suppress. Tell me. Oh my god, this is so interesting. I thought she just had control over his mind. I didn't know she was actually in it talking to him. I would not keep you from what you need. I would always let you have what you need. Oh shit, okay. If you want your part of one return to his right mind, I suggest you all leave. Now. Mama, I want to show them what you taught me. That was clever, suggesting we test the girls. Buys me time to ask the council for guidance. Baba, I feel a connection to Osha. I feel she's meant to be my Padawan. Uh, she's like, bitch, no. I believe she wants to live with us. Do not confuse what Osha wants with what you want. <laughs> No, oh, he knows. He knows. I love that it's kind of like given us that idea that they have had that connection from the start. At least he has had that connection with her from the very beginning. It's okay. I'm just so intrigued as to what part of this upcoming is going to make Torben just happily kill himself. Like, that's wild. A castle. Gonk! 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 A necklace. The image hasn't been killed yet. Do you like it? It's very beautiful. It must be very important to include in my You know, Indara is quite nice, honestly. Ascension means Ocean and I will leave the coven. Do not alter this little girl's destiny because you have formed an emotional attachment to her. That is not what's happening here. I mean, he just persuaded her to tell the truth. I want to do what's best for Usha. You don't get to decide that. Shh. Very false sensitive. Wait. They're symbiotes are the same. They are twins. No, no, exactly the same. Even identical twins would have different symbionts. This is impossible without some kind of manipulation. The twins were artificially created? Maybe by tapping into a power dense enough to split. One consciousness into two bodies? That's crazy. Only a virgins could create that type of power. That's what they're looking for. This is it. We just need proof of the virgins, and those girls are the proof. This is our ticket home. Damn, he just wants to get home, man. Holy shit. Torben, chill. So is Torben just gonna like storm in and they're gonna see it as a threat and I don't know. Uh... I love you, Mama. I love you. You want to stop Osha from leaving? Then stop her. The Jedi will not warn you before they attack. <sighs> Damn. Good girl. Get mad. Okay, so she encouraged it. The girl has yet to discover the power she holds. She has chosen it. It's what she wants. I love her future. so the much. Child. My children are our future. Her wish must be considered. She's so beautiful as well. Like, holy I shit. Mother. As you should, queen. Witches, arm yourself. So she has her own little, like, her own little crew. That are just like, okay. Oh, here we go, climbing again. Oh, I don't know if Torben has the ability. Oh, they're gonna get in his head again. There's no way that we can land the ship there. If I can get close enough, do you think you can make the jump? Go. 
Oh, it's nice seeing a Wookiee fly a ship again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Finally, Kelnaka action! Let's go! That, that's... oh, uh, I mean... Uh-oh. Yeah, you fucked up. Okay, this is the different side that we didn't see. So you could tell the confidence in their steps coming down there. You could tell the Torben was slightly more anxious. Sol was slightly more confident. Someday those noble intentions you all have will destroy every Jedi in the galaxy. Oh. Easy now. Oh shit! Oh. What? Wait, what? What? Mama. Bro. I was going to let Bosha go. That's what she wants. Once again, you don't give a fuck. Oof. I assume that's the fire that went into the electrics. I assume that that's just what has caused this explosion then. You know what? Fair. Attack the weapon, not the person. Which magic? Oh my god, this is so interesting. What? Holy fuck. So that's how she escaped? It's happening again. You should not have brought him here. Okay. Doc, my mind is fortified. Not you. Oh. <gasps> Oh! Fuck no! I have so many goosebumps. Holy shit, what is happening? Oh my god! That's the most terrifying thing they could have done! Oh, sick. I, I, I under the worst circumstances, but I'm so glad to see him finally fight. Holy fuck. Oh! Fuck me! And the fact that Torben's only a Padawan right now as well? Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, that's- that's a kick. Oh, fuck, Sol! Oh, he disarmed him. Nice one. Holy fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Just be lucky you didn't rip your arm off, honestly. Oh, nice one. Okay. Holy shit, she's able to, like, fix that? Wow, she has... she has ability. Oh, wow. So she got rid of their life force because they... Okay, 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 okay. Okay. 
so their life force was in Kelnaka and she basically drained it so they all died so that's how they all died that's really interesting still no idea where the hell coral went where's mama um dead. yeah so that's what soul hasn't told her is the fact that he killed her Oh, soul. Oh, soul, honey. I mean, fair play. It was either save one of them or save neither of them. Honestly, I... Ugh. That's I tough. That's that's like the trolley problem. Oh, my God. What's that? Oh, he's... I'm sorry. Fucked. Kelnaka, send a message to Coruscant. I warned you not to interfere. I warned both of you. I warned the, the twins to be safe. Master. See, I get where they're both coming from. What will we tell the council? I don't know if you want to tell the council everything. We will tell the council the truth. Oh. Yeah. All right. May burn down the witch's fortress. Oh. And everyone was lost. Oh. Right. Mama, I must face the council. Before you show yourself. At the mercy of the council, ask yourself why you made this choice. What happened? Uh, you're probably never going to find out. They started a fire. Right, okay. All right. All right, cool, cool. That's, we. well, we... We got our information. Oh god, this music. Goosebumps. Again. Okay, a, 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 a singing song? What is this? This is so strange. Alright, well there we have it. We've had our flashback episode. We've had our truth revealed, so... Soul killed the mother, and he also thought he killed May because he let her go. Rather than killing both of them, letting both of them go, he let May go because he had a connection to Osha, which is... I mean, it's selfish to let one go, but also, I get it. Again, it's, it's the trolley situation all over again. It's like, what the fuck are you supposed to do in that situation? He made a choice, and he made what he thought was best. Um, because he had a, he had a connection, he had emotional attachment to Osha. Torben, I feel like... I, I relate to him a lot. He has a lot of anxieties, and he's just very, like... Acts without thinking sometimes, I guess. So it was really interesting to see his side of things, and to understand why he felt so badly. He seems like a bit of an overreactor as well. Um, again, it also comes part and parcel with the, you know doing without thinking kind of thing, just kind of going ahead of things. Um, so the fact that he went into the, I forget what it's called, his like meditation thing, um, I feel like I understand it. Bit of an overreaction possibly, but like I feel like he just, it was a valid decision from him honestly and the fact that he just immediately just took the poison, he was like, you know what, I don't want to fucking do this anymore, I'm done. You know what? Fair play. Fair play. Um, yeah, interesting episode. I, you know, we found out obviously that Osha and May are one. So I that has me intrigued. If one dies, does the other die? That That's something that I'm very intrigued in. If they are like the same thing, but like split. But also we saw that the witches can form into like the, the like misty kind of thing, I guess. Kind of similar to... Um, you know, we've seen similar with the night with the night sisters, with like uh, in Rebels specifically. I know that they had like the the night sister 
uh, the magic souls, where it was like you could see the souls of the Night Sisters and they could go into people's bodies and control them. So it's kind of similar to that. It was really interesting though that Torben mentioned Night Sisters. Like that was really cool. So we know they are not Night Sisters. I think we knew from the beginning, but they are obviously similar because they're a witch coven. Um, I would love to know if they have a name, if this coven does have a specific name, um, other than just like Dark Witches or Brandock Witches. I don't know. I don't know what we can call them. Um, but um, I, I love it. I love that we've had the inclusion of witches in this and I was terrified of Kelnaka. He's very scary, especially when he's under the power of that many witches. Um, so now at least we know that it makes sense how they all died. Uh, and Dara is pretty badass as well. Again, still wish we kind of could have seen more of all of them like in present time, but I'm not going to complain. I enjoyed that episode. I think some bits didn't need to be repeated specifically. But again, it was fleshing out the story. It was showing us the true side of things from Soul's perspective. And it was pretty wild. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end it here and get straight into the final episode. What the fuck, man? The final episode? I can't believe it's here already. I'm so nervous. I, what's gonna? What the fuck's going to happen? This is one of those shows where like we don't know what's going to happen to each character. Like... There's, there's, there's just any possibility at this point. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you.